What's up? We're Signal for Pilot, and this is called Second Star. You lie awake at night and dream of what can be. You know this world is not a fantasy. Don't be afraid when there's a shadow on the wall. He will invite you to a world unknown. Just keep your Slowly, and in the trees, now tell me a story. A Neverland, a feeling of glory in the air. A playful time of villains and heroes. Without a care, we're resting our egos. I always say I'll never grow up, cause this is the life I want. This is the life I want. Straight on till morning. Just lost boys, we fight pirates, we made our choice. I always say I'll never grow up, cause this is the life I want. Straight on till morning comes, we fly above the sun. Another night floating on the horizon. Straight on till morning comes, we fly above the sun. Another What's up? We're Signal for Pilot. My name's Johnny. I play lead guitars. To my my man to my left is Chase. Yeah, you do Chase. Oh yeah, I sing. Chase is a singer. He's our lead singer. Johnny's from New I'm Jersey. I'm from New Jersey originally, um, and then I moved to Hawaii. We had a uh, we had the band. We were out there for a while. Signal for Pilot, and we decided to come here thanks to you know us thinking about. Uh, where we want to be in life and all that kind of stuff. So, and then on drums we got over here, Chris, Long Island, New York, and uh, yeah, and Chase, you're the only one from San Diego, right? Yeah. So these guys, when they moved here, um, I met them, and uh, that was like a couple 20, years 2020. ago. Yeah, we, we kind of met each other. the band right in the in the middle of the pandemic, yeah. and then we met, and uh, yeah, I tried out for the band. I remember trying out for the band, going to the practice, and. And uh, seeing what these guys are all about is a perfect fit. Oddly enough, the first song that we ever like loved, loved from like us all together was the song that we just played acoustic. So, and we actually, I'm pretty sure we started it uh, 
like playing it with full band. And then we went acoustic one day and it was like, whoa, this is pretty cool, acoustic. So uh, that song, one of my favorite songs ever, yeah. Yeah, that's that second star, you get that everywhere. Uh, I think they even, we even have the, uh, the one you could do karaoke on YouTube if you ever want to do second star karaoke. Oh, with lyrics. You yeah, mean. with lyrics. Oh, or <laughs> with, some people say with lyrics, I thought. Yeah, not karaoke. without vocals. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the karaoke. Well, they could sing it to it. They could sing along. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we just recorded a new song, or released a new song called Feeling Again. Uh, it's out everywhere. It's one of our favorite songs we ever wrote. They're all our favorite songs, I guess. But uh, we recorded it with Joey Bradford. He's our producer right now, and he is absolutely crushing it for us. I'm talking one of the best, most easiest persons I've ever worked with in my whole life. He's just so uh, friendly and nice and really good at his job. That this. Yeah, yeah. And Joey, Joey Bradford, I don't know if you know this, he's in the U's, one of the, one of the greatest bands of all time. On tour right now. On tour right now. They actually, just, they actually just played Asbury Park, where I'm from, one of the, one of the biggest shows they've ever played. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Asbury sure. Park. <laughs> Asbury Park, New Jersey. Yeah. So we did this song, uh, Feeling Again, which we wrote a long time ago, and, and we always wanted to do it in the studio. Chris, you could talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, we wrote it in Hawaii originally, and we brought it to Joey. And then Joey just completely just re-energized the song. And uh, I think he really changed the whole dynamic of it, adding like these different guitar parts that we added in the middle of the song, the, in the bridge. And uh, honestly, it's our favorite song. It's my favorite song. I don't know. It's the party song. It is like the one that feels like most energetic. I mean, it's called Feeling Again. It's like, get that feeling again. I mean, you just definitely a song to listen to, to pump you up and like, Pretty much the process for us for the past year or six months has been we'll go to Joey with a song and we'll bust it out in a day or two and then we will release it like uh, one at a time. So it's been kind of like a, a different release strategy where we're just doing singles like as often as we can. Just I think we're like also out. like with each song, it's like so much better than the next one. Mm -hmm. So it's like this whole concept of like our album name is called Next Level. So we're taking each song to the next level, to the next level. Yeah. And that's kind of like the reason why we're naming the album Next Level. Well, what happens when they brought a song to me that they had written, I'll put in my two cents, I'll put in my spin on it. And the songs that I brought to them, they do the exact same thing. They bring it to the next level. And like to have these songs that maybe I played before, or maybe they've played before, and to re-energize it with like, a different perspective and then to bring it to Joey and, he, and that's another crush, yeah, level crush. it's another crush. level I mean he does bring like new parts he's not afraid to like put his his input in it and we're not afraid to take it we've never told him like we want it to sound like this and like we're just like what do you got bring it to the table and his new song will fire you up. I'm talking from the moment it starts. It will fire you up. That last song we played is one of our lovely ballads that we have. But this song is the one that you want to hear right before you come out to play whatever sport or whatever you Madison do. Madison Square your, Garden. Or if you want to play Madison Square Garden. or they, I think they just opened with that song. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the... Those they were the playing in, in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, they did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but check it out. It's on Spotify. And we'll probably have a music video out pretty soon. And, uh, man, you guys are going to really like it. We've done two music videos uh, so far with Andrew Rowley, who is the local loudspeaker guy. Rolando's video is your crew. Rolberto's. Rolberto's Media. And 91X. 91X. We love you guys. Yeah, 91X is the San Diego radio station. And Rowley, um, you know, is uh, the man there. But he makes amazing videos. So uh, we did Midnight Drive, our first real single with him. And then... After that video came out, we were like, there's no one else we'd go to for a different video. So we went right back to him and um, did the music video for Upload. And uh, both of the videos have like our little comedy in the very beginning. Yeah, we, got, we, do, we like to do skits. We're old school video guys. So when you check out one of our videos, there's going to always be a funny skit in it because that's what being creative and making fun things is for. And that's what really we, we really enjoy. We just like having a good time. Tomorrow, sunset, you get me that vet. Leave this stuff on the table, we get out of my house. 
the rally loves to do like cinema type stuff too. So when we, you know, throw a script at him, he helps us rewrite it and make it to where once it goes on video, it's really good. We've just really been lucky with the people we get to work with. It's really been such like a great experience. Yeah, meant to last, be like everything. Yeah, rally and I mean, even yeah, on being on this podcast, yeah, it's just an amazing to experience. Be here you know? now, so we've just been so lucky that we we're, we're able to do what we do, but we we bring it every night, and that's why that's maybe why we're we're going where we're going. You know what I mean? And Maverick gets to act with you. Yeah, and, uh, and we have our. Oh, here's our, the. Yeah, it's <laughs> just, speak, speaking of dogs, <laughs> Thunder, Fender, like Fender, Fender. Yeah. He's, our, he's our mascot. You guys got the octopus. I got the dog. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Local love. Aww. Ooh, you know, I mean, Avenue Army was really cool to play with, and I know you came out and saw us play with them at the Casbah um, Aviator Stash. I know it was just right on this podcast. One of um, our first shows we ever played, we played with this band called The Naked Die. They were they were amazing. Dakota. Yeah, Dakota's the man. Um, and uh, who else? Yeah, I like Avenue Army a lot. We we played with those guys. I really like the Petty Saints. Petty Saints. <laughs> those guys were awesome. Petty Saints. Yeah, they. Those, a lot of these bands understand my jokes, but the Petty Saints for some reason just uh, understood all of my jokes. And that, <laughs> it really makes it more fun some days. <laughs> So Casbah was cool. I mean, I, I mean, represent Casbah, Casba. of course. Um, Thanks to ninety one X and Casbah. But one of the the unknown venues nobody knows about is up in Oceanside. We played this place called the Bunker House, and uh, it's one of the oldest buildings in Oceanside too. It's got like a history to it. They wanted to do live music. And we got to play there twice before, like all of their neighbors just said, "You can't play loud, loud music or like that anymore." We so we were the cause of that. <laughs> so we were the start and end of, of Bunker House. <laughs> we love that place, but we, we do. yeah, we, we, we uh, you know, Seven Ten Club was a really cool place to play. Um, we're playing the uh, Soda yeah, we have, Bar. We soon. have a bunch of shows coming up. We're playing Soda Bar on Thursday, August twenty fifth. We're playing uh, the Brick by Brick Summer Bash on August twenty seventh. That's a Saturday. We'll be on like seven p.m. I think that night. Um, and then we got Poor House up in Oceanside. If you guys are up in Oceanside, that'll be September third. And then we play in Oceanside again. I think September seventeenth at uh, Oceanside Bar and Grill, which I'm super September stoked for. That place should be is cool. Awesome. That's with the Undertaking. Yeah, yeah September third. Oh, those guys, 3rd, those guys yeah. are cool. Had to mention the undertaking. Yeah. Their stickers are all over the, the <laughs> fridge. Oh, we see yeah, that. we can't wait to see those guys. It's going to be amazing. I know Johnny's. Yeah, I mean, That's the 10 year. I mean, ultimately, we would just want one of these songs to hit so we can, you know, start playing bigger and bigger shows. And as we get through the, you know, the belly ups and the, you know, the other ones around here, we take the steps to get to Madison Square Garden because that's really the ultimate goal. Go on and then tour. after that, then, I mean, I guess you go like Royal Albert Hall, and then yeah. after that, you go Wembley, and then and then I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched like the bands from like nothing to medium, to, and I, there's so many levels in the middle where there's bands around here that are like really good, and then there's bands that are like the used that are like huge, and then there's bands bigger than the used. Like even the used has places to go there's upward. No band bigger than yeah. The used. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing how many levels there are. Like you, I think you get out of it what you put into it. So like, I feel like as long as you're moving up. Yeah, we we work really hard. We we try to. It's not even just rehearsals. We're like constantly writing new things and sending each other different. Uh, Maybe like our piano player Hugo, he's like a instrumental in in uh, getting the recordings that we need to do to even take to Joey. But even more than that, he helps us create a lot of the stuff because he's like a mastermind. His name's Hugo De Bernardo. Hugo's been on this podcast. Yeah, he's uh, yeah he was drive. yeah he Paradise was on drive. Drive. yeah yeah. So, so shout you, out to Hugo who's not here, but he yeah. should be. And and also shout out to John, our bassist. Uh, yeah, we got lucky enough to have one. We have one of those bassists that just. Uh, Oh yeah, okay, yeah, and then that's it. And he plays everything so great, so we got really lucky. The most with, energetic yeah. member of our band, uh, John. He'll be at all of the shows coming up. Yeah, as will Hugo. He drums a lot. <laughs> he yeah. drums a lot. Yeah, he, he can play and uh, and move. Put my foot back in my mouth again, where it seems. The next song to come out should be coming out what two three weeks? A couple of weeks, September, somewhere in September. Somewhere in September. September. Taking a chance. Going to be taking a chance. So that's going to be another uh, another nice one, another soft one like Second Star. Yeah, I can't wait till this song is out. You guys are going to love it. 
But yeah, we're Signal for Pilot. We guys, we want you to come to all the shows. We want you to buy all the gear. We want you to be a part of our family, just like we're a part of yours. And we're just so thankful to be on this podcast. And thank you so much for having us. And uh, yeah, uh, just come come check us out. You're gonna you're gonna love it. Lots of new merch. You can uh, message us directly for merch, and we'll ship it to you. Uh, we also have a bigcartel.com slash signal for pilot uh, that will be up in the next couple of weeks or so. You can order merch from there as well. Mm-hmm.